What's your name and what'd you do today? Uh, my name is Zachary Rodriguez. I placed fifth at the Kinder Regional right outside New Orleans. And uh, what'd you play today? Yeah, I was playing at Brave Adventure Tinny. All right, let's get into it. All right, start with the Adventure Engine. Played three Water, the Griffin, three Right, one Faithful, one Equip, one Foolish. It's the best engine in the game right now. Um, they're free bodies. Free extenders, free advantage, free negate, and then with this deck, it's like the bodies for the synchro summoning. It makes going second free. Trap decks are easy too. It's just really powerful. Uh, the Tenny, Tenny Ashuna, Vashuda, and Adhara. I played two of this one because I needed to cut a card, and it was either Adhara or Vashuda for me. And I picked Vashuda because. I could always get to it. It doesn't do as much as these two, like in terms of like engine. And, you know, it, I think it was the right decision on that part. You need the sevens to synchro, but uh, you need the tuners to even play. That's why I picked that one over it. And then um, for the Sword Souls, I played a Long Young, Tai, and Moye. Uh, I played Long Young just because you know, I needed to kill sometimes. Uh, it came up a lot, actually. Uh, it was good going in. Going into time one match, I had to summon it right before, but I mean, I won anyway. It didn't matter. And um, yeah, it's really good. I don't think it's much of a break. If anything, it lets you extend your combos. And then the one blackout. And I played the Red Rose package. Three Red Rose, Rock Rose, Basil. Uh, this is for the synchro combos, really. You summon this off half mostly. Or, you know, if you just hard drive with any level seven, it's full combo. Um, yeah, it's just, it's really broken. I mean, these are kind of bricks, but, well, this more than this. But, I mean, it's, it's fine. It's necessary. Then the death spot, you just need to do a roar down combo sometimes. Uh, called by the grave, and e Telly, my one extender. Uh, I was gonna play either one of this, or two, or Vessel, but, um, I just went with the extender. Vessel's good a lot of the times if you open a token, you know, if you open your adventure engine. But this is good all the time. Like anytime, f there's hands where you have a bunch of hand traps or like just random bad cards like Rock Rex, uh, Rex Rose, uh, Red Rose, all that stuff. And you just need any extender to go into Hauke. And Vessel doesn't do that for you all the time. Uh, and then the hand traps. I played three Ash, three Bell, three Ogre, and one Warner. I wanted to play 10 hand traps, and for my 10th hand trap, I picked just another level 3 tuner. Plus, it's good against Verte, Token Collector, you know, Kauki, stuff like that. It's still not bad at all. So, how many cards were in the main deck? 40. And uh, I saw that you didn't play, like, Marimara or Scythe or anything. Did you regret not playing uh, this, the lockout combo for Scythe? Or... No, nah, I mean, those cards add more bricks. That's, I think the base deck is... Too many breaks, and I don't want to play that. Yeah, right I now. agree with that. And I think 40 is just the way to go all the time. So. 40 lets you see your all the cards you want to see more. Your brave engine, your tenure cards. Yeah, every time. And like hands that even look awkward because you have a few breaks are playable because all you need is two cards anyway. So uh, for the extra deck, I play two monk. You have to play two monk, two Halki, and a Wardon. Uh, you play two because. Well, you always do a turn one. If you get stopped, you get stopped. But um, you do a turn one, you summon Red Rose or the Death Spot combo. And the next turn, if you need to do it again, you do the other play you didn't do. And it comes up a lot. And you use it a lot to go into your Synchro Tuner on your opponent's turn. Teach out. Um, Ching Ying. The Long Young Synchro. These cards are broken. Uh... I never really abused this one as much as I did this weekend. Uh, until this weekend, I never really abused it, but this one came up a lot. It's it's one of the best. It's probably the best one, you know, besides Chicho, obviously. But the utilization this one has is great. And this one just burns, I mean, you yeah. uh, know. Baxia, um, Draco Berserker. You have to play this one because it's generic. And... I mean, it's just how you kill most of the games. Box is just insane. Everyone knows what it does. But bouncing two, bouncing one, whatever is insane. The the pop one is special to combo. Yeah, you do that one. You do that a lot. Yazi, it's part of your combo. 
It's like the best going second synchro too. It just, it's insane. Baron, it's the best card in your whole extra deck. Um, any level seven and Rocks Rose, you go into this and full combo. So you're summoning this, everything. Herald of Arc Light, uh, a negate. <laughs> you summon it very often. Formula, you summon this with uh, your your Halky Fibrex, and you can synchro on your opponent's turn. Plus, free draw one. And then I played a 15th card in my slot, but um, I don't want to reveal it to the YCS. I'm hoping to top that as well, and you know maybe I'll reveal it then. But it's it's a tech card. I don't want to reveal it yet. Yeah, that's my extra deck. And for my side deck, I played three Droll, three Lantia. I was playing Droll for, I was told base is, you know, really popular, and then I didn't see a single base player there. I think I saw like one or two actually, but they were like out of the tournament, like really quick. And then I saw like some Drytron there, and you know, they didn't make it too far. So I just never sided this in. Also, it's good for Flunder, but I mean, again, never play Flunder. I played, I played three Cosmics, two Lightning Storms. I respect back row enough to side more for it. And this is also good for like the Flender matchups and matchups like that, you know, Rogue. And then I played the other two of, two Droplet and two Tactics. This is going second. This is going first or second, depending on the matchup really. But uh, they're necessary. I might bump one of these up to three or both of them. I might make some changes to my side deck, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, that's it. Any shout outs you wanna give? Yeah, shout out to FCG, the team. Shout out to um, you know all my all my boys I went with. Shout out to Alex Cancel doing deck profile. My boy Kai and one who topped as well. Everyone else who went who I went with, and yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, this is Alex and Zach signing off. Thank you.